Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel, Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. We're gonna be doing this 2007 Dodge Charger remote start. This is also a key start, which back then they only made them in keys. So we'll be doing a remote start today on this 2007 Dodge Charger. This is also a Hemi V8 model as well. These are the parts that we're going to be using is an NU1204. This is a Blade AL CDK1T harness. And as you can see, this is the CM900 with a Blade AL inserted already into it. That's basically these two pieces connected. So I can kind of show you what the brain's going to look like. And this comes with two four button remotes and all your wiring and everything included. This is the new module that comes with the 1500 foot range with the new antenna. So these are the parts that we're going to be using to do this install today on this 2007 charger. First thing we're gonna do is remove this panel right here. You can take a panel like your plastic pry tool, pull this out. There'll be a clip and a clip behind here and pull this off. Behind here is a Phillips head screw and that will be able to get this piece off which is what we wanna do is get the bottom part of the dash off. Here's the back of that piece. As you can see, it's just two clips. And when you pull it out, just be very careful. These pieces are fragile. You don't wanna break them. And then as you can see down here, there's a Phillips head screw. You, screw, you need to remove that. And there is also one more screw right here. You want to remove that. It's right up underneath the bottom of the dash right there. Okay, so now that we've got both the screws removed, you just pull on this. This is what it looks like on the back side. There's a bunch of clips. You want to unplug this, and then we remove this whole entire piece right here. Now we're going to remove one, two, three, four bolts because we want to get right to underneath where this key cylinder is. So that's what we're, our main objective is. There's a harness that goes up to that key cylinder right there. So we've got to be able to get to that. So we're going to remove all four of these 10 millimeter bolts. Now we have removed this whole entire piece. What we're gonna try to do is we need to get up here to this harness right here. So this is the harness that we need to get to. Very important, you be careful when you pull it out, it has a little red pin. You need to push that up and then you'll squeeze it and then pull this down. That's what we're going to need to get to. So if you can kind of see there, it's kind of hard to see in the light, but that's the harness that we need to get to. Here's the plug unplugged. As I said, you basically wanna pull this out and then you'll be able to squeeze this part down here to un, you know, undo it. So the, just remember, pull this out, you'll shift it out, and then you'll be able to push this down. The two wires that we're gonna need to get to is this purple wire and then the pink wire. So basically it's gonna go one, two, two, pin two is purple, pin three you don't need, pin four is going to be your pink with stripe. That's going to be the two colors we need, pink with stripe, and then the one, basically one over from it from the middle is the purple. Those are the two wires that we're going to need to tap. And then we're going to unplug the other harness in here, and that's the one that we're going to plug the T-harness into. 
if you can see right here, right through this hole right there, that's where the harness is. That's the plug right there. So we got to get to that plug right there, right behind that cable. So that's what you got to unplug for the T harness. It's kind of hard to see. It's very difficult to see. Um, it's very even hard to see like right there. So that harness right there is what we need to unplug for the T harness right there. Here's the T harness that we're gonna plug in to that plug that we just showed you. So you're gonna plug this in, the factory one into here, and then plug this into the module behind the key cylinder. That's gonna tee off our uh, key harness that we need. Okay, and we have the yellow wire going to the pink and the purple wire going to the purple. Those are the only two wires you need to hook up and then plug this back in. We already have the T harness connected over here. Okay, now this car has royally kicked my butt. So I just talked to technical and only on the 06 and 07 chargers is this wire right here. So I had to cut it off right down here. I cut that and this wire somewhere in here is messing something up in the car. So I ran a direct lead to the purple. So just understand, don't use this purple that's in the harness. I guess they're gonna make a revision after this, but 06 and 07 chargers, it causes a problem. So definitely run a direct lead for the mux wire otherwise you're gonna have issues so i'm gonna get this all put all up um, everything's working i got it programmed i'll put the program instructions down there i'm gonna run the antenna but everything's working properly but that about killed me because i couldn't get the key to stop dinging so this was throwing something in there that was messing it all up so we just ran a direct lead here um, thank god that technical helped me out with that We got everything all wired up. We've got the brain right here. That way everything's all secure and nice in here. So it's all good. Everything fits under there real nice and neat. We're gonna go ahead and remote start and show how everything works. 2007 Dodge Charger remote start by New Start. This also does keyless entry with lock and unlock. This is also the V8 Hemi model. 